In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Apple Developer account and enroll into the Apple Developer program. You'll need this account in order to release the iOS version of your app on the Apple App Store. Once you've created your account, you'll be able to set up your iOS app and prepare it for release. When you finish setting up your BuddyBoss app, you can generate an iOS build directly inside the BuddyBoss app plugin. Once the build is ready, you can download it to publish it yourself or submit it to our publishing team to handle the entire publishing process for you. The publishing service is available to all BuddyBoss app customers with an active license subscription. All of these steps will be covered in detail in separate tutorials. Now, let's click Enroll to go to the next step. There are two ways you can enroll into the Apple Developer Program. The first is as an individual. Individual accounts are for single-person businesses. This means businesses listed under a single person's name, where there is no separate legal entity for the business. Apps released through individual accounts will be listed in the App Store under the legal owner's name, not the business name. The second way you can enroll is as an organization. This is where a business has its own legal entity, such as company, non-profit organization, joint venture, partnership, or government organization. As such, app release through organization accounts will be under the legal entity name in the Apple App Store. If your business has its own legal entity, we strongly recommend you enroll as an organization. If you are signing up as an official non-profit organization or accredited educational institution, you might be able to get your Apple Developer membership fee waived. Furthermore, only organization accounts allow you to add additional users, such as your employee and developers. You'll also be able to add the BuddyBoss publishing team to your account, meaning we can get your app published faster with less input needed from you. If Apple decides to change their enrollment process in future, in this case, the steps described in this tutorial may have changed. You'll need an Apple account before you can sign up to the Apple Developer Program. If you don't have one yet, please go to the Create Your Apple ID page on the Apple website and create an account. Then, go to the Apple Developer website and click Account in the top right. Now, Log into your Apple account. You might need to pass two-factor authentication first by entering a code sent to either your Apple device or via text message. We should confirm trust. If it's your first time logging in, you'll need to accept the Apple Developer Agreement. Then click Submit. Once logged in, click on the Join the Apple Developer Program box. Now, click on the Enroll button in the top right corner. On the next page, you'll see an explanation of signing up as an individual versus an organization. You'll be able to select which in the next few steps. Scroll down, continue by clicking the Start Your Enrollment button. On this page, you'll need to enter the details of the account holder. Only the account holder will be able to accept legal agreements and manage your membership. If you are signing up as an individual, this will be you, as the account will only allow one user. If you are signing up as an organization, this should be somebody with legal authority to sign agreements in your business. Go ahead and fill the fields and click Continue. On the next page, you'll be asked to select your entity type. To enroll as an individual, select Individual Sole Proprietor in the drop-down and click on the Continue button. Any of the other options will enroll you as an organization. Here, you can review and accept the legal agreement between your organization and Apple. Click the checkbox, scroll down, and click on Continue. Now you can go and complete your purchase. Here you can see Membership Type, Apple Developer Program, Enrollment ID, the cost, and duration. Then confirm it with the checkbox and click on Purchase. To complete your purchase, 
you will be asked to sign in into your Apple account again. Then, how do you want to pay? Here, we can choose which options we would like to use to complete our purchase. We can include our tax information and then complete the process. Before you enroll as an organization, you will need a DUNS number, which Apple will use to check the identity and legal entity status of your organization. Dan and Bradstreet may have already assigned one to your organization, depending on the country it was set up in. The fastest way to look up your number is by using Apple's Look Up Your DUNS Numbers page. Enter the information of your organization and Apple will confirm if you have a number or not. If you don't have a DUNS, Apple will provide you with the option to submit your information to Dun & Bradstreet for a free number. After requesting a DUNS number, please allow up to 5 days to receive your number from Dun & Bradstreet. Once you receive your DUNS number, please allow up to 2 business days for Apple to receive your information from Dun & Bradstreet. Once you have received your number, you can continue your enrollment into the Apple Developer Program. If you already have a DUNS, you receive an email with a link to enroll your organization in the Apple Developer Program, like this one. Now, let's go back to the Select Your Entity Type page. From the drop-down, you will see individual, sole proprietor, company organization, nonprofit, accredited educational institution. Select your company type, then scroll down and click continue. On the next page, you need to tell Apple about your organization. Enter your legal entity name and DUNS number. Then complete the captcha and click continue. Apple will next ask you for a little bit more info about your organization. Enter the information required and then confirm that you have authority to sign Apple's legal agreement for your organization. When you are ready, click continue to accept Apple's legal agreement and pay the membership fee. After completing the organization steps, you'll next need to accept Apple's developer license agreement by checking the box and clicking the Continue button. Next, you'll need to confirm your purchases on the Complete the Purchases page by checking the box and clicking on the Purchase button. Apple, next, will ask you to sign again to confirm your identity. Once signed, you'll be able to select your payment option and complete your order. You might see different payment options depending on the country you are purchasing from. Once you've completed your order, you'll be able to log into your account on the Apple Developer website. Once logged in, you can follow the steps in our Setting Your Apple Developer Account tutorial. 